You got a problem with your uh, fellow detectives? You feel the need to show them up, is that it? No, sir. So it's the military police. You feel that they're just a bunch of boobs and that they're gonna botch the investigation? No, sir. But let's not pretend we don't know the Army's real motives for wanting this case. <laughs> so what? When did you realize you had psychic powers, Detective? So you don't believe the Army's primary concern will be how this incident reflects on the Army? So you see this as a career opportunity, is that it? I don't have a career, sir. I have a job. I take care of my son. I do what I'm told. But this boy died in a ditch beside one of our streets. Someone burned his body like a cord of wood, leaving the animals to chew on his remains. With respect, if this was your son just back from Iraq, I think you wouldn't be quite as happy about chucking this case off onto someone else so you would look better come election time. And that was with respect. That was my intent, sir. Fine. I'll think about it and I'll get back to you. Sir, every moment we Didn't lose you it. just say you'll do what you were told? I sometimes exaggerate for effect. David. I'm sorry? Your son. He's doing fine. Thank you for asking. And that deadbeat ex of yours? You go show up to his games? Well, luckily David is pretty pathetic at every sport he attempts, so he wants as few people witnessing it as possible. <sighs> That's a shame. It's not like he's the boy's father. And the way I see it, it's the oddballs and the misfits that go on to do interesting things with their lives. How many former high school quarterbacks do we roll into the drunk tank every Saturday night? A little misery in school is a good thing. You know, I was a starting quarterback of my high school. I seem to recall you showing me photographs of such, sir. <laughs> You're not going to give up on this Deerfield boy, are you? I think you know what the right thing to do is, sir. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Hillary.